Not long after returning home, George met and married Martha Dandridge Custis, who was a few months older than he and had been married before. She had two children, John and Martha, who went by the nicknames Jackie and Patsy. George came to love his adopted children, he gave them lots of attention, and treated them as his own. Jackie and Patsy would end up being his only children, as he and Martha never had any of their own children together. Martha Washington came from a wealthy family, so when she and George married, he inherited even more land. He was also given land as a gift for his service in the French and Indian War. This all led to George becoming one of the richest landowners in all of Virginia. On his farm, George spent much of his time writing about, checking in on the workers, and was even known to take off his coat and get into the dirty work with them. He enjoyed horseback riding, fox hunts, and fishing. George was always interested in the latest scientific advances to improve his crops and to find better ways to raise animals and tend his vast orchards of fruit trees. If you visit Mount Vernon today, it's a beautiful plantation with a museum, crops still growing, flower gardens, and well-tended orchards. In fact, I visited a few years ago with my wife and daughter, and we had a great time walking through Washington's home overlooking the Potomac River and strolling through the beautiful gardens. Sadly, slavery was everywhere at this time in Virginia and other places in the American colonies. These slaves had been kidnapped from their homes in Africa and forced to work for no pay. Slavery was a horrible practice that didn't end until after the Civil War. Like most of the farms in Virginia, over 300 slaves worked at Mount Vernon. Later in life, George was more open to ending slavery than other plantation owners, but sadly he never decided to set his slaves free during his lifetime. But after his death, he had all of his own slaves set free, but not Martha's. An interesting fact about George Washington is he had very bad teeth. Many times he complained about them aching and other problems. He had to have many of his own teeth pulled over the years. For this reason, George wore dentures most of his adult life. Dentures are false teeth that people wear to replace their real ones that were lost. Legend says they were made out of wood, but the truth is that his dentures were made out of his own lost teeth, some animal teeth shaped to look like human teeth, and other metals.